Thanks for tuning in to The Property Show. We are taking calls and emails from across the country and helping you take an informed decision with that big money chunk you're going to part with to buy a property. Also on the show, hot debates and big trends in real estate. Here's what's coming up today. Smart home options in Gurgaon and Thane, all under 90 lakh rupees. More affordable range of homes in Ghaziabad and Ahmedabad. Ticket size, under 50 lakh. Hot property in Pune and ID City, Bangalore. That's where we'll go as well. And a special report on Khargar Navi Mumbai with key trends that one sees in this market. All right, let's uh, bring in our first caller. Kanav Arora is on the phone line. Kanav, hi, good to have you with us. Go ahead, shoot your question. Yeah, hi, Manisha. Uh, thank you very much for taking my question. And thank you, Samir. Uh, your, your calls have been really, really important to us. And the property actually, you know, actually tanks and cups are, comes up with your ex expected uh, know-how and, you know, analysis. So thank you very much for taking my call. Uh, Manisha, the question is, we invested in 2006 uh, in Greater Noida and the property tanked after that. And now there is a complete nexus between uh, the unit X staff and uh, the property dealers there. So uh, we are not still not given the position. Post are, you know, complete. Uh, we have paid the complete money to them in uh, January and still we are awaiting position. And uh, what's your call as in, should we get out of the property at, you know, uh, because they are offering 15, 20 lakh rupees less than what we have already paid for. And uh, what's our options right now? Thank you. Okay, uh, kind of in a tricky spot because Greater Noida hasn't done well. And you know, Samir, increasingly I'm hearing of this very new story. The flats are fully constructed, building is ready, and the developers are not giving possession. It's not rare in Unitex case. We've got a couple of more questions. And then there are cases where people have moved in and developers are not allowing for registrations to happen. I mean, this is getting so curious. And from a developer who is number two in terms of market capitalization and a well-known name, difficult to understand. Doesn't do the industry any good. I completely agree with you. I think there could be two possible reasons for that. Uh, first of all, I think, A, that maybe the developer has not paid the Noida Authority or the Great Noida Authority. And because of that, legally they can't register the flats. So they've taken the money from the consumer, but because Noida Authority and Great Noida Authority allows you to do a payment plan over 10 years. But if you have to register, you've got to pay for the uh, property completely before you register. Right, so that could be possibly one reason why they're not handing over or they're not registering for sure. Mm -hmm. As far as handing over is concerned, I think there should be uh, enough reason for them to hand over because uh, they get to get more money from the consumer. The last batch, and of, that money, the last batch of money and the registration yeah. charges as well. Correct. So maybe the property has not got its fire clearances or a completion certificate and again it's not legally allowed so to... there's something amiss. So there is something amiss over there. Uh, with respect to Greater Noida, uh, it's been a very unfortunate story. Mm. There was a lot of uh, hope with respect to that city. It had the best infrastructure possible uh, with respect to NCR. And uh, what really has happened with the Greater Noida is that A, the Noida Expressway has offered so many units at such affordable rates that it's killed the back of Greater Noida. So having said that, I think uh, you should definitely look at an exit from Greater Noida. Currently, it's trading between 3,500 to 4,000 rupees a square feet. If you manage to get a buyer, you should consider taking an exit. There's a huge oversupply in the Greater Noida market today uh, and there's been huge amount of execution delays also in the project uh, and with respect to other projects in Greater Noida. Definitely you should look at uh, moving into Gurgaon and with your past experience I would definitely recommend you to buy properties that are ready. We've shortlisted two properties uh, which are of tier 2 developers uh, literally because the budget that you have will not allow you to buy a ready property that is, uh, that, is that is of the best developers. But having said that, these are part of integrated townships, uh, ready, people are living there, so you should have no problem whatsoever. I'll share some key data points with you. So this is with respect to Sona Road is what we are recommending you, sector 47, 48, 49 and sector 38. Ready projects only 11, supply 6,629 units, availability is only 13, so no inventory overhang, nothing to worry about there. The weighted average price of ready properties over here is 8,200 rupees a square feet. Uh, our, uh, the price appreciation 55% over the last two and a half years. 
for about 20% on a compounded analyzed basis. Uh, recommendations from our side, Opal South End by Opal Group uh, and SS Group. This is on Sona Road. Price is 6400 to 6800 rupees a square feet, so much lower than the weighted average price as well. This project got ready in 2009 and it's available in the resale market. Then there's Wembley Estate, part of the Eros Group, Sector 49. This is about 8800 rupees a square feet. 2007 was the completion year and this is also available in the resale market. All right, so I'm very quickly kind of going to read out your options and we're asking you to shift to Gurgaon, Sona Road. That is something that you'd asked us in your email as well. Yes, that's a market which will definitely do better. And you know, I think it's just better to cut your losses in a property which isn't taking you anywhere. Just sticking around with it for next five years as well. I don't think Samir Greater Noida is going to do very well. That's what we've been saying on the show. You might as well recover your losses and make some money in a better market. So Opal South End, Opal Group, that's SS Group is the first property on our list. There's also Wembley Estate, Eros Group and kind of this time around, we're just making sure that you get into something which you can see. So these are properties where construction work is almost through and uh, or actually through, isn't people it? Are living there. People are living there, sorry. So these are, uh, these are actually apartments where people are living, they're fully occupied, but they're still available in the resale market. So go ahead and look at any of these. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.